Hey there guys, Uncle Flip Flip here. <laughs> hey guys, Geelong Flipper, Flippity Flop, Flop Flip. Okay, so to make this clear, this video is going to be about how to list on eBay, uh, ba a basic beginner's guide. And um, if you're experienced, you may not enjoy this unless you like listening to me be a tool. Shazam! <laughs> Alright folks, during this particular video, I don't know why I looked away then. Hey guys, Tori here, Geelong Flipper from the mean streets of Geelong, Victoria, Australia. As promised, I am doing my little tutorial. Um, it may take way too long because I speak way too much. Um, but it's going to show you if you're inexperienced in listing on eBay, how to do it using the eBay tools. Now, bearing in mind, I'll make this up front. I am no expert. This is just how I do things. You may know a million better ways. You may have far more experience than me. Speaking of far more experience, um, I wanted to just quickly address a message I got from a uh, quite an experienced reseller YouTuber. Um, I'd put up that I'd found some Enid Blyden books and I was excited about them and I wanted to put them up there for you to see because as you know, I celebrate the small wins and I'm trying to teach people that don't have a lot of income how to source stock and sell it for a profit. So I may get excited because I found a book for a dollar that I might sell for $10. You know what I mean? It's all about starting small and working your way up. So I was showing these things and this quite experienced reseller um, posted on TikTok, you're really making videos about $2 fines. Yeah, I am. I'm not going to name and shame because maybe text is hard and there's sometimes a bit of a misunderstanding there, so I'm going to put it out there. But I read it as um, this person was being a little bit of a smart ass, and they may not have been. But they've been around for some time and they are spending big money now to make even bigger money and I really love their content. So to sort of get that, what I felt, a disparaging uh, message, I just thought, nah, dude, you don't know me. You don't know I'm trying to help people. I've been out of work and with a little bit of money, I was able to turn eBay and reselling into a partial income. So I celebrate the small wins. I smell, I smell a break. I celebrate the small purchases too. Today though is about you guys who are just thinking, well, F me, this is going to be difficult and I don't know how to get into it. So I've compiled a set of screenshots. I'm not that good with the whole video editing. So forgive me if, if it's a little bit uh, shit. Um, oh, by the way, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, please. I lost a subscriber the other day. It's like, it's so weird because I'm such a new channel. I can see when people unsubscribe and I lost someone. I miss you already. It was the most bizarre feeling. I thought to myself, what have I done wrong? In any case, I am going to show you um, how to list on eBay using the tools that are already available. I have made notes there on my iPad. If I don't edit properly, you may see me glancing away from the camera occasionally. It's simply me checking the screenshot that I'm later going to try to put into place that it makes sense. Okay, so all the screenshots that um, I am showing you now were um, taken using the eBay app for iPhone. I am pretty sure the layout will be the same for Android users. I just don't have an Android device to show you on. So. Basically, like I said, this is for people getting started so you don't feel overwhelmed. And as I have told you in the past, the easiest way to get started is to use commercially available items with barcodes. All right, it's just it's just the easiest way to get started without feeling too overwhelmed. So bearing in mind, guide for people getting started, a silly bit of entertainment for those of you who know what they're doing. But... Um, Everything is met with good intention. And if I miss anything and you've got a bit more experience or a lot more experience, whatever, please let me know in the comments. I know I screw up. So if I've missed a step, just put it in there. I will not be offended, but I'm always going to celebrate your wins, big or small. So also pop them in the comments too. All right. Um, did I mention I've written some books? Okay. Not about eBay, but let's get straight. I just did that because I know it pisses some people off. Um, let's get straight into the listing. I'm now checking my iPad. Okay. So let's have a look here. Do, do, do. Have I got all these in order? I freaking hope so. Yes, I do. Okay. So you, uh, first off, Here's the screenshot. Hopefully I'm up in the corner. I'm trying the picture in picture. If I screw it up, then I've just screwed it up. The eBay app will open. It'll present you with a home page. 
down the bottom of the screen, you'll see home, my eBay, search, notifications, and selling. Now, we've got our item in this particular case. I can actually find the game. It might be better for you to see it. This was the game that all the screenshots are based on. Here's the screenshot. We have home, my eBay, search, notifications, and selling. Now, we do have our item, but the thing is, though, we don't have a clue how much to sell it for. So, we're going to search. So, I hit the, the search button up the top. You can type. There's a uh, magnifying glass, and in this screenshot, I've typed in Lego Star Wars, the video game, PS2. Then you hit search down the bottom. In the next screenshot, it'll bring up... Um, the current sales for that item. And they're helpful because it gives you a general idea of just what people are putting on their particular product. Now, you've got to have a gut sense yourself. Don't be guided entirely by this. You'll also see here that there are the word sponsored under some of them as well. And that simply means that someone is paying eBay that promotional rate to have their item show up a little bit earlier. And I can see on a lot of these it says free shipping. I've had some of you disagree with my uh, experienced sellers, disagree with the whole free shipping thing. I think in America, the free shipping thing is more relevant in Australia, but that's my personal opinion. It doesn't make it right. It's my own opinion and how I approach. I started with free shipping and it didn't make a scrap of difference. If someone wants your product, they'll pay for postage as long as you're not a con artist. So here we go. This is based on me typing in the, uh, the, the title of the game and the format that it's on. It brings up these things here and you can see you're looking between, say, 12 bucks through to about 15 bucks and it brought up a couple of incorrect ones as well. However, there is a different way of doing it. And that is, see up the top of the search field, there's a camera. You can hit the camera. Now we're going to go on to the next screenshot. And that is point your camera at a barcode. So all I did was simply put the camera at that barcode on the back of the game. And I scanned it. In this screenshot, I can't do that because it would have just straight away brought up all the results. But I wanted you to see that is the barcode reader for the eBay search field. And so what I am doing now is basically trying to get some data based on the barcode, the UPC, to see what other people may have sold it for. Same sort of process, but a little bit more refined based on the actual barcode of the product. Now, as you'll see there, same deal again. There are two ways of doing this. That'll bring up results. The next screenshot, though, is you can do an image search, and it's fairly accurate. I prefer typing it in, though sometimes if you're really stuck, the, um, the eBay lens will tell you what the product is. Otherwise, you can go onto a search like Chrome and use their Google lens. I might do that as another show, though. Um, so we are looking it up based on picture in the next screenshot that's currently on the screen. And then that will bring up results also. And as you can see, they are different from last time. And in this one, as you can see, it's actually not showing you. There's no sponsored. In this particular way of searching, none of the sponsored ones are coming up. So as you can see, even if you don't sponsor or, or promote, don't pay that percentage, you can still be found on eBay based on an image. I'd prefer not to do it this way and I do not advise it, but it's there. Now, if you have a look, you can see up the top right hand corner and it says filter. We're gonna filter down our search results because these are just what people are hoping to sell it for. What we wanna do is actually find out how much it sold for in the past? How much are people willing to pay for a product? The item is only as valuable as what people are prepared to pay for it. You may think it's worth priceless. Thousand bucks, might be worth five bucks. So we do this, filter. Filter gives us the last three months worth of data. And now in the next screenshot, we can see here, we go filter, a drop down menu will appear and um, it goes, uh, show more, which we do need to hit because it doesn't show you enough on the actual screen that I'm showing you here. So then all we are doing is uh, hitting down and seeing what the previous results were, hitting them, and then it will show you actual sold comps. Once it's brought up those, all you need to do is have a look at those prices, work out what's working best for you for this particular product. From there, we go, okay, well, we know we can sell it for this much. You know that yours may be in better condition. You may want to charge just a little bit more because you might want to take an offer. I'm going to talk about that in a second. So now we go back to that home screen and we're going to this time click on the selling tab down the bottom. And from there we go 
list an item. That's that big blue button that's up the top of the screen. You can't go wrong. Alrighty, tell us what you're selling. Now, this is where if you're getting used to eBay, this is what I recommend that you do. You can see on the right hand side, there's an image. It looks like a barcode reader. It is a barcode reader. Please use it. Click on that one. Once again, I have the image there of the back of the disc with the barcode reader. Point your camera at a barcode. I'm not because it'll read and flick over immediately. So in the next shot here, it does identify it for you. You select the one that makes the most sense. And then we go on to the actual listing summary, which will come up almost immediately. Before that, you'll have listed the item and the condition that it's in. And then it presents you with your own listing summary. And then you can actually see what was preloaded beforehand. There's already detail there. In this case, I consider this game to be in very good condition. Not like new, certainly not brand new, but in very good condition. Okay. So then we're going to start to edit it. First things first is go into your camera app on your phone. I don't like the eBay camera. I don't think it does a good job personally, though some of the cropping function is quite good. Take photos of the front, the back, inside of the disc and the manual if it's there. Make sure any imperfections are very clearly photographed. Okay. And then I even... On the next shot there, I take a close up that you can see minor marks on the bottom of the disc. So that's what made this very good in my opinion. It'll still play absolutely, but there's a couple of blemishes on the bottom. It prevents it from being in like new condition. The manual was in good condition and the interior of the game disc is also in great condition. All right, so from there, we push the plus where there is, um, you can put the photos and you'll go into your image gallery and see the photos that you do want to upload. So from there, I select it obviously in order, front, back, internal, and disk flipped. Then I upload them. You can see the photos are now uploaded. I click on done. And now we're gonna go through to double check that we've got everything correct here. So condition is very good. The item specifics are already loaded in. Please make sure that you have everything there. If it says a manual included and you don't have a manual, go into the item specifics and deselect the manual included. Then we get up to the description, providing a description for your item. Now, I used AI to fill this in and always read it because the AI does screw up. This one was correct. And so I went, yep, that's fine, that'll do. Nothing's really wrong with the game, but I will add stuff to the bottom of that. Takes two seconds and you can do a bit of a cheat with keyboard shortcuts. With keyboard shortcuts, I always say check or just quickly type it out underneath. Please check photos carefully for condition. And then I'll put something like, I, I make sure that I uh, ship with tracking to protect your purchase. I want the customer to know that sometimes my postage might be a little bit more, but they're going to be covered from start to finish because I track everything as we've covered in other videos. Okay. Now we go to the next one. It's back to the listing summary. You can see my photos are loaded in, but you'll also see that I changed the titles a little bit. Something you may not be aware of is eBay. People put a lot of weird characters into their listings eBay search engine doesn't look at that stuff. If you put something in brackets that's an essential part of the message, there's a very slight chance that by putting those characters and stuff in that the eBay search engine won't find that. So you're hiding information. All I do, the T16 at the end there, means I've put it into tub 16 that when it sells, I know where to find it to expedite that process. I'm not hunting around, it's in tub 16. Grab it, sell it, get it out of here. Listing summary is done. So now we're going into the pricing field. Okay, that was underneath those other areas that we're at. And you'll be able to see there, you can choose if you want it to be an auction. In this screenshot, it's selected on. I don't do auctions. I've got three there by mistake in my listings. Um, I do buy it now. The reason why I do buy it now is the customer knows that once they buy it, it's theirs. They don't have to compete with anyone else. And for me, unless I'm doing a special offer, I don't have to worry that I'm not going to get the price I was hoping for. I have it for sale, it'll be for sale until I get the price I want or unless I mark it down because I have to and it's been there forever, which means that my pricing may have been out at that time. So on this next screen here, guys, you can see I've deselected auction. As I was saying, I don't like the whole auction thing and I just gave you the reasons for the whole buy it now. Now, you can see what eBay is telling you 
it thinks it sold for, the median price. See how other people priced it. I don't trust that feature. It may be based on proper metrics. I don't care, all right? I sell it for what I want to sell it for. So in there, I had a basic look in our sold comps before. Remember that part? Back on that other screen where we went to put the filter and sold items. So I'm going to go base it on that because that's what real people paid for it, not what eBay thinks I should sell it for, okay? It's one of the few times that I don't agree with the process. So from there, as you can see, I've adjusted the pricing. And just as importantly, if you can see in the... Um, in the screen before, sorry, I'll jump back to that very quickly. In the screen before, we had the median price was $9.70 with offers being no. Wrong, change it. So I'm gonna sell this item for $19.99. I really want 20 bucks, but you know how it is. And I changed the offers to yes. So that means if someone does, it opens up communication between you and the customer. And also it allows you to send off offers to people. So every day you can see who's looked, who's loved your item, who's added it to a watch list, and you can send offers away. We'll do that in another video. But it does allow you to take offers from people. Don't put what, um, uh, you know, the least you'll accept. Leave that field open for conversation. Once you start going, I won't take less than $17, you close down that conversation because you may have taken 16, okay? So make sure it's on buy it now, put the price that you want, offers yes. We're on the home stretch now. Okay, so then we go into the delivery field. You'll see it just below the pricing. And in my case here, I've got those business policies that I've spoken about briefly. And the pre-select before was on a medium satchel 15, which is a $15 satchel for me. Don't need it for this. It is a piece of media. It can go a lot cheaper than that. So I click on the um, on the medium satchel 15 and it brings up all my business policies regarding my post. And as you can see there, paper envelope seven. I'm charging $7 for the postage. It's going to be an attract envelope. It's just a paper envelope, but it's media with a plastic disc and it's gonna be a-okay, okay? select that one, go done, and then that will fix up that you can actually see. And the customer can see they're only gonna pay $7. We're almost there. Scrolling down, you'll see the field that says promote your listing, which is on the screen now. And it's got like a phone and a little item there, promote your listing, help your listing stand out and sell. And at the moment, it's not selected. We're gonna select it. So you click on the slider, and make it blue like I have done right now. eBay will give you suggested rates, 10%, 12.5 and 15. Now, that is how much you will, if someone buys it because of that advertised link, you will be giving eBay that much more percentage of sale, okay? Be aware of that when you put your pricing in. I do it, it's worth it, it works. So I would strongly suggest that you do it. Okay, so from there, you can select because it's all listed there, then you can close that screen back down. You've now added a promoted item on. Congratulations, well done for you. And we're up to the home stretch now, guys, and you've done so very well. If you've taken notes, if you think of anything, put comments down below, you know I answer, because at the moment, hey, I'm losing one subscriber. No, I'm kidding, I lost one subscriber. Um, I can still see the comments, I'm not being that overwhelmed by them. All right, guys, so, we're there. You've got the blue button. I'm really proud of you. The blue button that says list it. You can see it far better on the screen, but you go list it and you've done it. You've listed your first item on eBay using the barcode reader, which makes things so nice and easy. And then Shazam, you've got your listing is live exclamation mark. You can click on done and repeat the process again. Amazing, go and view your item if you want to. Check it out. You can revise it if you screwed up somewhere. There are so many cool things that you can do to maximize your earning potential on eBay in these easy steps. On average, once you get this down to a little bit of a fine art, listing items like this and like books should take you, I would say, between, say, four to six minutes an item. And that is going slow and very casually about it. With the help of the AI tool, as long as you can read fairly quickly, 
you might even get these done in as little as three to four minutes per item. I personally would find that exhausting and I like to watch television when I list. So it's all up to you. But um, that should really help. If it did, drop a uh, like, a subscribe, chuck a comment in. Tell me how poorly I did or tell me how helpful it was. At least these screenshots will be here for you to refer to. And this information is accurate as of the 8th of May 2024. Time travel. Drop an email, send stuff, let me know. Join the Patreon. It's all up to you. And I will see you here, TikTok. I shouldn't say here in case you're watching on TikTok. I'll see you on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, um, or on the street. Okay. Happy thrifting. Bye.